Now in its 35th year, the Rocky Horror Show has a cult following that encourages audiences to dress up, bring props, and sing along. And how could you not? Since its 1975 release as the Rocky Horror Picture Show, the longest-running film in history has received the stage treatment numerous times, and now the Citadel Theater gets a crack at it. It's a magical retro piece, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally a blast. It's so fun, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, that's what it looks like. I mean, uh, audiences, of course, uh, are encouraged to uh, participate. Yeah, yeah, it actually just adds to the fun. You know, we give out little kits. You can yeah. buy a little kit for uh, five bucks or something. You can you can uh, throw um, toilet paper and cards and hopefully not too much on the stage. But And the audience is encouraged to, like, shout stuff at you. I'm playing the narrator, right? Yeah. So everyone always yells, boring. Oh, okay. sort of my, my ultimate nightmare. But no, <laughs> it's fun because then I get to kind of raise my eyebrow and... You know, it, it certainly tests your limits as an actor to do something <laughs> like this. Exactly, it? yeah. Um, I directed the show a couple of years ago at Theatre New Brunswick out on the East Coast, and I was really surprised at how much the audience participated in the show. Everybody got, gets up and dances the time warp, and um, it's been the exact same experience here at the Citadel. You put together a great cast, and uh, some of the, you know, John Alliette, uh, Julian Arnold, just to name a few, and of course uh, the makeup and the music, everything has to all come together. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess you're obviously very pleased at, at how everything uh, turned out. Right. Well, I mean, I am so lucky to have such an amazing cast led by John Elliott. Uh, you know, I mean, John had some pretty big, uh, you know, heels to fill in a sense. Tim Curry, who made the role so iconic. And John has been such a breath of fresh air. He's just breathing new life into that character and bringing so many new things to the table. So uh, I couldn't be happier. And you know, joining John is a whole team of nationally celebrated artists, some from Edmonton, some from various parts of the country, like Jamie McKnight, who is one of the four Canadian tenors, and um, Jose Boudreau, who played uh, Belle in Beauty and the Beast last year, so yeah. I couldn't be happier. Well, I know when the Citadel uh, unveiled their lineup for this year, I know that uh, Rocky Horror Show was one of the more interesting uh, pieces. And uh, then, of course, when uh, you find out as an actor that you're going to be uh, playing the narrator in this thing, what goes through your head? Because obviously it is a classic and something that everybody's familiar with. Yeah, you know, that's really a good point. Because I, um, I saw the movie like back in the 80s, and I have pretty strong <laughs> memories of it. Like, kind of, it's one of those movies that puts a you know, strong impression on your, in your brain. But uh, I decided to sort of not go back and look at it or, you know, there's lots of versions of it on YouTube and stuff, just sort of so that I have a fresh perspective. That first day when we had the band and everyone's singing, you know, you practice with the piano, right? Mm -hmm. But to hear that, to hear that electric guitar just kicking in and the drums, you're just like, yeah! Did you air guitar like that when you heard it? <laughs> yeah, I still do, backstage. <laughs> Rock out with the Rocky Horror Show until November 20th in the Citadel's Schachter Theatre. For tickets and more information, you can log on to citadeltheater.com or call 780-425-1820. Brad Kelly, Shaw TV, Capital Region.